This is your macroeconomics video, giving you an example of how to calculate CPI. So again, because the real US data on CPI and its market basket would be wildly too large for you to compute, um, they use small fake economies. So in this small fake economy for our basic econ class, we're gonna assume that this economy only sells pizza and lattes. And the government, of course, has predetermined that the basket consists of four pizzas and 10 lattes. So they've decided that that's the quantity that average families will purchase during this measuring period. Now, for each of the three years here, 2011, 12, and 13, these are the various prices of pizza and lattes. Now, in order to find the market basket of each year, we're going to multiply price times quantity and price times quantity, and then add up the pizza and lattes together. So the cost of the market basket for 2011 is $60, then $69, and then $78. Now we're gonna compute CPI of each year. In this particular case, I'm gonna use 2011 as the base year, just because you, you can actually pick any year you want. Um, I think using the earliest year makes it a little bit easier. So CPI is current year divided by base times 100. Again, for whatever year you pick as the base year, you're gonna get a CPI of 100. For 2012, we get a CPI of 115. And for 2013, we get a CPI of 130. Remember, CPIs here in red are just numbers. They are not dollar amounts and they are not percentages. Now, to find the inflation rate, we would find the, in, the rate of change between any two years. So if we look at the difference between 2011 and 2012, the inflation rate between those years is 15%. Remember, difference over the earlier value. And the difference between 2012 and 2013 is a difference in 13%. So the inflation rates of 15% and 13% are wildly high for any economy. But again, in an economy this small with only two particular products, this is how much prices increased between these years. All right, for your active learning number seven, you are now going to come up and calculate um, various um, things related to CPI. So in question A, you're coming up with market basket of 2004. B, you're calculating CPI of 05. And then for C, you're gonna do the inflation rate from 05 to 06.